Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. Woo! If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi! I'm a licensed therapist and on this channel, I do my best to help you laugh through the crap that's holding you back, okay? <laughs> this is the place to be if you're wanting some free insight from an actual licensed therapist while you get a little bit of entertainment, okay? Today, I'm gonna be talking about some signs that you may not be coping well and what to do about it. While I attempt to do a 60s look, if you hadn't guessed, all right? Whoa, oh, 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 mm, be my little baby. Sorry. <laughs> you know I can't help myself. If you're new, please don't judge too much. Not a makeup artist. Right then. Moving on. All right. <clears throat> so today I'm going to do my best to do a 60s look. All right. I've only done it one other time, so we'll see how this goes. So the following are some signs that you are not coping well, all right? Oh, I almost forgot to mention it is Mental Health Awareness Month, all right? So be aware of your mental health, okay? Anyway, so here are some signs that you are not coping well, all right? You are suppressing or avoiding your feelings. Oh man, I got something in my eye, it stings. <laughs> Sorry, so yes. Suppressing your feelings is a huge sign that you are not coping well, all right? Holding it down, stuffing it down, you know, which by the way, I plan on doing another video on, so make sure you keep a lookout for that. Another sign that you are not coping well is focusing way too much on the past, all right? If you find yourself wishing and hoping and praying and thinking, that was a 60s song, wasn't it? Wishing and hoping and praying, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, if you find yourself there, then it might be a sign that you need to take a look at how you're coping with things, all right? Another sign that you may not be coping well is if you are demonstrating avoidant behaviors, such as self-medication, for instance, with the alcohol or the marijuana. Not to say that's a bad thing, all right, in moderation. Additionally, you might find yourself trying to force happiness, falling into that toxic positivity trap that I talked about in my last video. That could be another sign. What? Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Another indication that you may not be coping well is not sleeping well. All right, if you find yourself having restless sleep, tossing and turning, mm. sleeping too little, sleeping too much, could be indications that you're not coping well. All right, pay attention. Now, of course, there's some medical conditions that might contribute to this, but in general, if you sleep pretty well and you don't have a problem falling asleep, staying asleep, and you notice change, that could be a sign you're not coping well. All right. Another sign that you may not be coping well is if you notice you suddenly have crying spells out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, you're weepy. You just seem to cry at the drop of a hat. Again, okay, there are conditions such as PMS. That is a legitimate reason to have those spells. But again, you know what I mean, in general. Like, you know, not once a month kind of thing, all right? Before I try to attempt to do my eyeliner, I wanna check in with you guys. Have you noticed any of these signs? And if you have noticed that you've had these signs now or in the past, then you know what I'm gonna say, all right? And if in the past you did have these symptoms and you recognize you weren't coping well, let us know what you did, all right? What snapped you out of it? Right then, moving on. All right, so I've only done this one other time, all right? So wish me luck. I always screw up eyeliner like every single time. I don't know how people do it, but whatever. Here I go. <laughs> I'm scared. God, this causes me so much anxiety. All right, got the little flick, I think. I don't know if it's right, but not a makeup artist. All right, so I'm gonna try singing while I do this. Maybe that might help me not be as nervous, which is honestly part of the reason why I'm singing on camera most of the time in our videos, because, you know, I get nervous in front of the camera still. I don't know why. Anyway. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Be my, be my, be my little baby. What's another good 60s song that you guys get stuck in your head? One for me is, Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Oh, yeah, 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 Mr. Postman. Mr. Postman, look at me. God, this eyeliner sucks. Or maybe I just suck. Trying to get it together. So another sign that you may not be coping well is brain fog. If you find that you're having difficulty concentrating, a run down, having a difficult time remembering things, that could be a sign you're not coping well. Frick, I always make this one higher than the other. Another sign, not having the energy to take care of yourself, like general hygiene kind of thing. Another sign is physical pains, 
more frequent headaches, backaches, all the things outside of like your normal aging kind of thing, all right? A lot of times our stress and our mood can definitely present for us physically. So physical symptoms, pay attention to. Oh no! Another sign that you may not be coping well is a change in eating habits. Eating too much, eating too little, feeling nauseous when you eat. Important signs, people. Pay attention. I don't know about this eye. This eye always looks so weird. I got a crazy eye. Anybody else got a crazy eye? I got a crazy eye. So another one you gotta look out for too is if you're normally pretty social, you like to talk to friends, you like to see family, and you're just kind of isolating yourself and you just rather be at home alone, not talking to anybody. Could be an indication that you're not coping well with something. All right? Now again, this is out of character. So like if you're typically kind of like an introverted person and you're totally cool being at home, not talking to anybody, not seeing anybody for a while, then you know, you know, it's fine. Hey there, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Hey, 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 Mr. Postman. I don't do lashes because I'm all thumbs. I need to try to practice, I think. What do you guys think? Let me know. I don't know if there's any way back from this, but what are you gonna do? So now that I've given you some signs to look out for, to check in with yourself to see how you're coping, I'm gonna talk about what you can do about it, all right? First things first, practice self-compassion. I know I preach this all the time, but it's really important. When we're stressed and not coping well, not sleeping well, all the things, our self-talk becomes a negative Nancy. So practice that self-compassion I'm always talking about. It's real important. Another thing you can do is keep a gratitude journal. That can be a daily coping strategy. Another thing you can do is reconnect with nature, all right? Go outside for a walk, go to the park, rock climbing, hiking, canoeing, kayaking, all the things. Those are some things you can think about as well. Physical touch is also really important. And if you don't have anybody you can hug, I highly recommend those weighted blankets. Those can definitely just make you feel pretty comfy, all right? So give that a try, all right? Spend time with animals. If you don't have a pet, see if you can't walk your neighbor's dog or watch their goldfish. I don't know. My point is, is that there are options, okay? Try to get regular rest. This is so important. I feel like I already said that, but if I did, whatever. Not scripted, okay? Also, you wanna think about your work-life balance, all right? If we're not having balance with work and all the things, it can interfere with our ability to cope with whatever it is we're struggling with or life in general. Oh, 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 oh. So you can get houseplant, join a club, book club, gardening club, choir, singing. Singing is fabulous. Sing to yourself loudly in the shower. I do that. Well, to be fair, I'm always singing, but whatever. Pick up an instrument. That could be another way of coping. Okay. Like, I mean, I don't mean just like pick it up, like, you know, do something with it, obviously. Read a good book, curl up with a good book, nice hot cup of tea, all right? So the idea here is, is that you're implementing some of these things regularly because it's a form of self-care. So what are some of the things that I've mentioned to you so far that appeal to you and you think might be helpful for you? Let me know. Now I got a few more things for you that you can try to help you improve how you're coping with things. So don't go anywhere, stay put. But before I do, if you're liking this content so far, give me a thumbs up. Almost there guys, thanks for sticking with me. Has anything that I've mentioned today resonated with you? Have you noticed that you are not coping well? Or maybe you've realized that someone that you care about is not coping well. Tell me what are you gonna do about it? I wanna know, all right? I don't know if they did any contouring or anything in the 60s or 70s, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I think it's cute. If I do it right, that is. So, did I get that song in your head? Hmm? If I did, sorry, not sorry, sing it. Singing good for your spirit, okay? <laughs> So another thing that I would encourage you to think about as well, if you're taking a look at yourself and you're like, oh yeah, maybe I'm not coping as well as I thought I was because she mentioned a bunch of those things and I think that's what's going on. Think about the things that bring you joy, all right? Try to find a way to incorporate them on a regular basis, not just when you start to feel all kinds of ways, all right? So let's say that you like cooking. How might you be able to incorporate that on a regular basis? All right, maybe you can't cook like a six, seven, three, whatever course meal every evening, but you might be able to do at least once a week, twice a week, weekends, right? Perhaps you enjoy reading or photography, all right? So these are things that I would encourage you to think about when you're thinking about improving your coping skills, okay? Uh, 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 u
my little baby. And don't forget, if you've tried all the things and it's still not working out for you, you're still struggling, you know what I'm gonna say. I'm really struggling with this lip liner because it's not sharpened and I don't have a sharpener and like I'm stopping myself, so that's why. I'm... So I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this up a little bit. I'll be right back, don't go anywhere. Stick with all right, here's the final look. The little highlighting, got my lips done, all the things. What do you guys think? Like it? Love it? Hate it? Let me know. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. Be my, be my, be my little baby. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, I'm looking cute. Mm -hmm. I like it. I don't know about you guys, I like it. My hair's a hot mess though.